guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 11 and 12 of Bakay Managa today. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Kitty, looking like a dance. Another kitty. And another kitty, and another. Kitties. Oh, what the hell happened here? Did your stepfather, um, beat you? I know. And you go and you just school uniform. You might be one of the weirdest girls out of all the girls we've met so far. That's okay, but I like you. Yeah, what did you do? Yeah. Ha, I was right. But just because he did it once doesn't mean he, like, he'll stop. Think about it. You have to. Of course you would stop for that. What is it exactly? Okay. Photographic version. I haven't seen this opening. Uh uh, because I would have remembered this. But I've heard this song. How the hell do you hear a song that you haven't seen an opening to, Peter?
is an important person to me. I love her. You know, something a lot. Something about a girl. Oh, that's her. Okay. All right. Let's just go. Let's just get it. Start. God, that could be us. Mm -hmm. Of course. Right. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck did you do? Uh, but of course, you're not going to tell me, right? We ain't going to know until the damn movie. So in a couple of weeks. Mm, so you, you say that, but mm, no. Yeah, and I did say he might leave. Just like the Master of Masters did in Kingdom Hearts. You know, um, Agaragi, let me say this real quick. Shouldn't you be going to class because the... Mm -mm. Bell, I mean, you guys have been talking for a while.
<laughs> Was there a reason why she was staring at you? I mean, she got a, you know, breast and bitch face, but that's okay. Oh, okay, never mind, damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. You sure about that? I mean, you know, everybody lies about something. Because she's a good girl, right? Right. Well, she's kind of mature for her age. So she's going to have a very mature vocabulary as well. Are you okay?
Mm-hmm. No, but you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Can, can we go back to that? Oh, shit. Is this because she touched that thing in the street? Oh! Okay, white cat. There we go. Okay. So the cat died. Y'all buried the cat. And then Hanekawa turns into a cat. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when she white, she evil when she regularly she okay. Okay. And so we won't know about that until a couple of weeks from now. Kind of figured. Not that we know of. Could be down. I need alcohol. I need some fucking wine. Damn. Mm -hmm. This damn show. Well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and let me guess, they die in the end, right? Yeah, of course. There's somebody that. Oh, it's you! Then what the hell was her name? Look at her, she's so cute! My god! 
But still, you know, white could be wanting to come out. You never know. Girl, you say that, and then that damn girl gonna come out, and she's gonna bite the shit out of him, and then I'm just gonna be like, mm-hmm, he told you. That car has something on it, but it's going by too fast for me to, like, see exactly what it says. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, I, I gotta say, she is a very interesting character, but to now know that this girl turned in some, into a dang cat and do what she do. I don't know. I still like her, though. But she, she has, she's like a person who has multiple personality disorder, but it's not really like that. It's just two different personalities. It's the white one where she is evil and then the black one where she's just this normal regular old school girl but my thing does she know anything like when she turns back does she remember like any little thing that she's done as white possibly and maybe she doesn't i don't know but another question i got so everything that just happened between aragi aragi kun um hanakawa and shinobu is that also going to come back into the movie again because it seems like it is and I'm guessing slowly but surely that's when we're going to see him get bit and turned into a vampire. Because I do know that everybody, what everybody told me in episode one, in the scenes before everything else started, that's going to come back into play. But is that or anything else that we've seen before this episode might come back into play in this movie? I don't know. I, I, I just feel like the movie is going to have a lot of information that I'm just going to be like... What the absolute fuck is this shit? But it's still a good ass show. Did, did he just get his ear bit? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Get into that type of thing. Mm. What the hell did she just disappear for? See, no, no, no. I, I mean, I don't even know what else to say about this. But uh, it, it was a good ass episode, really. But so, like I said, the cat died. They buried the cat, and the cat mysteriously gave her powers. So now, you know, it, it char cursed her in a way, charmed her, or something like that. But. Because, see, it was a little weird to see all these damn cats walking around. And, like, the biggest thing was when they started the episode and they had the conversation and then we eventually got to the point where she was like, yeah, my dad hit me. And, like I said, I was like, mm-mm, that's going to come back into play for something. And then it did. But I, I really hated the fact because I, I, I wasn't going to say anything. I was going to wait until the episode was completely over because I was, like, thinking, are they going to show them doing whatever they did to that, whatever that thing was in the road, because I didn't think it was immediately a cat. I thought it looked like, the way it looked, it looked like a bird or something. I was like, okay, go bury a bird or whatever it is. I don't know. But, I, I mean, like, once they finally went back to Golden Week, I'm like, okay, thank God. Because I was like, if we do a BS thing where we're not going to know until episode 12, that's going to slightly kind of irk me a little bit. I'll be like, I'll be pissed for like a teeny weeny second, and then I'll be like, okay. Go in the next episode and we'll figure out what the hell happened. But, yeah, the, it's crazy. What? No, no she's not crazy. All these girls are crazy. No. Mayue ain't really crazy. Mayue is like, I don't know. 
No, my only is like that one. The, the our, our freaking little snail chick, snail, the lost child, the lost child of a fucking snail. Um, she's just innocent. I don't know. She may have like, but see, no, we all like. I need to say this. Like the innocent people, children, whoever, also probably have the most dirtiest minds. So you know, you never know. Agaragi can with his, you know, mm -hmm. horniness, but. <laughs> Stop the video for now. Um, go get episode 12 and I will see you guys <laughs> in one second. <laughs> okay, no. Episode 12 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, okay, well, damn. Just like that? Oh, the race. Like, damn. Don't be scared. Honestly, I thought she was going to lick it off. <laughs> okay, where are you going? Then what is it? <laughs> Sorry. Yay! Oh, are they going to show her falling down again? No, oh, damn it. I mean, I've seen that gif, like, on Twitter and everywhere. Wait. Why are we show showing her opening when it's about Haneko? I'm a little confused right now. <laughs> but, like, um... That that's what your boss is cat of it though. It hurt something else that it is something was it. I guess it was your fault. Don't come in. Don't look to that that place. Don't talk with that, that smiling face. Whatever. With whomever. And now that it's all in that bread, and I can't even see all that, I can read that, but barely. Harsh and kind, like that ocean. Are these the openings? That, I mean, not the openings, but <laughs> the lyrics to the song. Because I don't remember that being in episode one. I would literally, do, do I still have that? No, fuck. No, I can look on, yeah, I sure can. I would have to wait until after I'm done watching this episode. But it is a little weird that they have her opening.
That's okay. Come on. Uh, hold on. Uh, what, huh? No, 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 no. This is probably going to be one of the weirdest dates in an anime that I've ever seen. Oh my god, he tried to open the damn door. Ah! Yeah. What's wrong? I know you literally are right. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. That's true. Damn. She went bam, bam, bam like that. But see, you know, us girls, we can really do that. Like, that. Guys, it's like, mmm. Got to see between her and Hanegawa. I don't know who I like more. I like them both. But then, you know, my other favorite person is coming. In a long time.
No, nada, o sea. No wonder why she moved away from me. Yeah, and then stress. What day? How long was that ride? Like... <laughs> okay, you, you, you go do that. I did not mean to drop what the hell I just dropped. you talk <laughs> Even though she doesn't really, like, she smiles, but, mm -hmm.
I mean, she going real far out of the woods by herself. I'm just saying. Y'all seen some damn horror films. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on. Mm-hmm. So if we have sex, we have sex. Until we get there. So sorry. So I'm just gonna lay there for two hours. Gotcha. It's perfect. How about not?
Hi, Cody. Scared the crap out of me. She is demanding though, but that's okay. <laughs> that was so fucking sweet, oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, I wasn't praying for that. I mean, even though it didn't focus on Hanekawa, it, it just focused on them and the love for each other and just them going on a date. And so finally, like, <clears throat> I've been waiting for this for like the longest time to let leave. See these two go on one, one freaking date, and finally, I mean, because I kept thinking, like, where the hell are y'all gonna go? Like, mm. She goes to the woods, I'm like, what the fuck is about to happen? She, is she gonna kill him? I, I mean, I would have been a little shocked if she did. You're like, hold up, you love this guy so much that you want to kill for him? Okay, so you like the pink girl from that one anime who wanted to kill a whole bunch of people who was looking at that dude a certain weird way, but like, nope, you gotta die, just go. Never seen that anime. I just know that she likes to kill a lot. She's crazy. But it was sweet. They cute together. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all I really have to say. It was a really good episode. I I'm happy that, you know, her dad at least got to say something in this. Because the whole entire time during the car ride, she was quiet. And then she leaves. And she's like, oh, hey at least have a conversation with my dad. And I'm thinking, is he going to say at least something, damn it? But, hmm? Oh, he just did. But wait, 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 hold up, no. She only, she only gets cat ears when she turns white. She just turned white at the end of it, but then no, she had black hair and she had black cat ears. No, what the absolute F. Also, does she have a bra on? I mean, damn, like, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I mean, she's, it looks like she's in PJs. She gets slapped and then they're just like, uh. Like, okay, there they go. But I, I don't know what else is gonna happen. 
But still, that's what I would like to do on a date. Go out into the forest. That would be a little scary because you never know what the fuck is out in the damn forest. Or at least like a cliff somewhere where you can either lay um, a picnic sheet, blanket, whatever, down or laying on top of a car whatever and just looking at the stars for a couple hours and just talking it's just like it's just you two the only two in the world and it's not like saying hey we gotta procreate because it's just you and me and sit and it's that would be no comment on that yeah that would be just mm. I, i'm not even gonna start on that but it was sweet I just wish we could have seen them kiss. And I bet you it's going to be a long time until I get to see these two kiss, right? Like, it's going to be the last series, right? They're not going to kiss until the last series, are they? I swear to God, no, don't do that. But it's just, it's a little weird because then why would they have this episode? I'm not going to say that this was filler because it wasn't really that. But to just not really focus on um, Hanekawa and then focus, you know, on um, Senjo Hara and Agarari Kun's relationship. I mean, it's really nice, but then why would you still have it as Subasa Cat Part 2? That's my thing. Because I'm like, hold up, okay, we're, 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 it's still going to be about her, but we focused in on them. I'm okay with that. I ain't mad about that. But it's just, you know, you're wondering in the back of your mind, like, hmm, why'd you do it like that? But I ain't going to really know until I watch uh, 13, 14 next week, which... I think I only really have 13, 14, and 15 because I think there are only three episodes left. So what I might do um, is either put those three together in one big video, which will be over an hour, or just do 13, I mean, no, hold on. Um, yeah, 13, 14 together, then do 15 by itself, and then start the movies. But then if I do 13, 14, and 15 together, then the day that I watch it, I can also watch the first movie, and I think that'd be really good, because then I can finally find out where the hell um, I can stop at, because I did screenshot um, a comment about someone saying kind of exactly for each movie where I should start. I mean, where, not where I should start, where I should stop at, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode 11 and 12 of Bakay Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Friday for the Patreons and next Monday for maybe possibly the finale of Bakay Monogatari. I'm not really going to know. I just got to figure some ish out and I should have everything... My answer probably either this weekend or by Monday. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.